Welcome back to Fallout 1.5 Resurrection. We've gotten just about halfway, or maybe two-thirds, through the super mutants at the super mutant camp. Now it's time to take out the last third and actually make our way out of here. So the hardest targets are the ones with the rocket launchers. Those things hurt so bad. Everyone else, I think I can sink a couple other shots, but the rockets, not so much. So let's just try this. Not too good. Run away. Oh god. <laughs> That's probably... No, now, now like everybody's almost dead. Now we're like really dead. Somehow I'm alive. Did they just pick up Lystra's weapon or something? You fucker. I almost need to get a one-shot kill on that rocket launcher person. 19 damage? That's not gonna do. Eh, okay, I'll take it. I'll move over here so they can't hit me with the rocket. Oh, never mind, they can still hit me. Fuck. 36 points of damage, that's not too bad, okay. Two shots in one turn! God, this is gonna be hard. Well, let me get on the edge, I suppose, huh? How about there? There we go. Damn it. They're gonna get a shot off. Hide in the corner. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, oh, they didn't. Okay. No! Lystra! God, it seems like the super mutants sometimes just get two turns for some reason. I don't know why. I think I maybe actually do need a one-hit kill. Can't seem to do above 30-something points of damage. good enough. Is it worth using the sniper? I'm going to try and aim shot to the eyeballs. Well, even a crit is just 46 points of damage. Yeah, I think I just gotta keep rolling for a crit. Nineteen points of damage, come on. So does the other person with the rocket launcher come as well? Where is the other one? Because I thought there were two that had rocket launchers. Not sure where they are. Yes! Okay! 
Okay, I can work with this. Good, good, good. Let's run away from the others so if they attack, they don't accidentally destroy my companions. Don't want them caught in the crossfire. No, don't go after them, you asshole. 58, 60 points of damage. Yeah, if they get hit again like that, they're dead. Alright, I need to try to get that one's attention. Pretty good. Heal up a little bit. I don't think any other super mutants are coming, which is very nice. Nice! Healing for safety. No! Fuck. By the way, this is... I just want to remind everyone that I cannot save during combat. I might be able to actually save, but you shouldn't save during combat. Apparently there's some stability issues. It's alright, we did it once, we can do it again. I missed. Yeah, I can definitely do this. I'm very confident I can do it. If I get a bit lucky with the grenade, uh, the RPG person, I can do it. Because the rest don't even come for me. And I got a crit. Nice. Ooh, that's not good. Man, that flamer hurts so bad, even with the combat armor. That's bad. I gotta hope one of the others can kill one of them. Nope, they're just running with me. Shit. Oh, good, 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 good. I'm, <laughs> I'm really trapped in here now, though, but you know what? That's fine. Yes, okay. Good, and can I by any chance just, like, push you out of the way so you don't get hit by flame? Uh, Leister, there you are. Just a little, little push. There we go, so if that person decides to flame me, I think I'll be safe. Ah, oh, but Mutt's there. I mean, Woofer. Sorry, Woofer. I can't select them at all. Nope. Alright. No, now they move back into place! Damn it! <laughs> Stay away! Please don't use that flamer. No! Oh. Was it a crit? Oh, it was a crit. It did 295 points of damage to me. Wow. Minigun crits hurt. That goes to show, I guess, how much, um, how much of a difference the armor is making, huh? With the armor. <coughs> if I get hit by a minigun, a normal amount of damage is like maybe 30 but if you do a crit it bypasses the armor so without the armor I guess it would actually do more like 300 no oh. They took a little pot shot at the rocket launcher person, so they shot at them instead of me. That missed, didn't it? No, just made a weird noise. Hit, you just hit Woofer.
Woofer? No. Double no. <laughs> Did they just kill themselves? <laughs> they just blew themselves up. <laughs> they just silently exploded. Ooh. Maybe I should have stayed over there, then I could have shot them while they're down. Um... Well, I guess I'll just take these ones on for now. Uh-oh. You know what I'm actually going to do? I think I need to leave my companions behind. Alright, come into this little back room here, huh? Close the door behind me. Oh, I don't think there is a door here. No, there isn't. Okay, should be a little bit easier. Oh, crap. Okay, got a nice gang here. Yes, got the rocket launcher one. Good. Heal up a little bit. Oh, no, are they coming to my aid? I told them to wait. Well, I think we're going to be okay anyway. I think I've shot them all a little bit, so they should be pretty stuck on attacking me. Mm, I think I'm just going to use a super stim. Okay, one to go. Was that a crit? <sighs> Man, I was so close. Yeah, as soon as they get a crit with their weapons, I'm just dead because it bypasses my armor and without the power armor, I'm so squishy. it off. That's very, very bad. Probably dead here, but you never know. Maybe they'll blow up their allies or something. Here we go. Am I... Oh, oh my god, they, mi <laughs> they missed. They missed a rocket from literally, like, three feet away. 
Okay. That's a miracle. No, I don't have enough AP to heal. As long as I don't crit, though, I think I'll be okay. Come on, come on, come on. Damn it! Yep, that was a crit. I'm getting so close. Should I go for the rocket launcher person? Because my chance to hit... Oh, I don't even have line of sight on that one. Alright, whatever. Very good, very good. I think this is going to be the one. As long as they don't crit. Damn it! Oh, man, I'm getting so unlucky. Minus, it's going down. Minus 133 hit points. Super dead. I just... Oh, I meant to reload. Oh, this is fine. I can reload like this. Okay, now there's just a flamer left. Seems like the flamer crits a lot less than the machine gun one, so... I think I'll be okay. Oh, finally. All right, we are very, very good now. Okay. stuff I can't hold. So freaking heavy. Oh, I'm, I'm at my max capacity already. Okay. Why don't you come back into the group and go back into your room? Why did she leave but no one else did? Very strange. That's almost all of them. There's a couple turrets. And one, I think two or three more enemies. There might be one over here, plus there's the one guarding the bridge. Margaret, or whatever their name was. Marge, something. And this one. I know there's another rocket launcher person. Oh, you know what I should do? Snipe him. Except I have no line of sight. Mm. 
There we go. Oh, there's the other rocket launcher one. Jesus Christ, that range. That only did 12 points of damage. Not bad at all. I'll take that. Critically hit for 89. Nice. Pop out. Oh, I can't hit them. All right. Just keep popping out, doing some bot shots until I get near, and then I'll switch to the other weapon. Guess I'll just switch right now. Nice. <laughs> hey, Lystra. That was a very bad percent chance to hit. Are they... Are we out of combat? Really? They just gave up? That's... strange. Alright, I'll take it. Why did they stop? I mean, they shot at me, and then just stopped shooting at me. This one, the rocket launcher, I could kind of see, because they're, like, right on the edge of my view, but this one's pretty close. Well, that was weird. Are you gonna come after me now? No? They're just not gonna attack me at all? What? Are they broken? Or Something strange is going on. That or I've just discovered an exploit where if you try to attack somebody with a sniper at the very far edge of your vision, they can't attack you back or something. Alright, well I believe that's everyone except the turrets. Are the turrets even active? Probably, but I wonder if they need the power generator to work. I don't see any way to shut them down. There's no active consoles. Alright, I think we're good. Let's gather up the crew. Please don't shoot me, turrets. Please don't shoot me. Please don't shoot me. And we're good. Wow, we actually made it out of there. Alright. Well, there's the rebirth base. Uh, that feels like that's pretty much the end of the game. So I'm not going to go there just yet. Maybe it's not the end of the game. It feels way too early for the game to end. I mean, look how much unexplored territory there is. I don't know. But I don't want to do it just yet. Let's go back to Albuquerque for now. I want to try to resupply if I can. Um, should I report back to the mutant hunters? I guess I should. I feel very nauseous.
Uh oh. Radiation? Ah, uh, I'm radiated. Was it from the goo pile that I stepped on? I mean, I've got a... Uh, what's it called? I've got a Geiger counter, I never heard it go off. Can only be used from the interface bar. What? I don't get it. Is there something I need to do with it? <laughs> do I need to drag it into the interface and install it? I don't know. Anyway, I probably have some drugs, right? Hmm, I think they're on carry. But we're in combat, so let's deal with that first. Oh, right, I used action points by going into the inventory. Okay, then. Get him, Woofer. These geckos aren't going to be able to do anything to me. Looks like I can take their pelts now that I've been trained to do that, but there's really no reason to. Even a golden pelt, I'm sure, isn't worth that much. Mutant hunters. No thanks. Right, so radiation meds. I think she's carrying all my medicine. Yeah, here we go. Two of those should do it. Still radiated? Yes. Am I still radiated? Yes. Wait, did that just say nothing happens? Why is this color like that, though? Oh, wait, it was. Oh, it was selected. Whoops. Never mind. I just wasted that other one. Oh well. So, do I still have to. I still have to report back to the Monster Hunters, right? I believe that's a quest. No, that's not it. Albuquerque. Yep, bring the information back to Sebastian. Let's see. I have the holodisc with Tenrita's report of the interrogation of the Rebirth Ghoul, including the location of their base. I'll give it to him. Really? I'll take a look immediately. He quickly connects the hollow disk and reads its contents. It's worse than I ever imagined. The insane mutants believe they can cure themselves. But all they will accomplish is killing scores of genetically pure humans. God, I hate that they keep saying genetically pure humans. You. Only a sick mutant mind could come up with a plan like that. Wait. The rebirth is searching for an escaped ghoul that underwent that vile transformation. That... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That matches the story you told me before. You must be the 13th Reborn. Right, I didn't think about that. Hmm, they would want to kill me, wouldn't they? What are you gonna do about it? A mutant that looks like a human. Only mutants could create something so vile and devious. You'll never get out of here. You're too big of a threat to pure humans. But you might be useful to us when we lock you up. Uh-ho-ho! -ho. Well, 
Normally I would have never thought about taking on the mutant hunters, but now that I have power armor, just like you... I don't think so. I'm very dead. If I decide to let them lock me up, I wonder if there's like some sort of an escape? Escape the prison quest or something? I'm a little bit curious. Anyway, my teammates definitely should not join me. Once again, they're too weak. I wish there was a button just to say, like, all companions, just wait. Whoops. Talk to the same person. Oh. Incoming message from the Empire. Okay. It's from Empire Iran. The Empire is facing a difficult situation. You've already proven you are both capable and reliable enough to help. I would like to make use of your services again. Come see me if you are interested. Hmm. Should I do that before dealing with, um, mutant hunters? Perhaps I should. Okay, let's do that, because destroying the mutant hunters might ruin everything with the Empire, because they do have a deal with them, so perhaps the Empire would hate me because I destroyed the mutant hunters. So let's go talk with them first. Plus, I need more ammo. Uh, well, Chuck's gun store isn't around anymore, huh? There's a couple, there's at least one other seller I can get stuff from. Nobody cleaned up this blood? Gross. They're still gonna shoot me if I enter here with a gun, aren't they? Yep, 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 yep. Wait, what? Okay, apparently I pissed them off, even though it wasn't inside. Protect your sorry asses for the only thing standing between you and the rebirth. Without any real support from you, and what do we get? Nothing but accusations. Enough stalling, Commander Tulsa. We're well aware that you're responsible for the current state of the vault. If you're not going to at least admit that, we'll be forced to start acting regardless of the hunters. We're all shaking in our boots. I have nothing else to say to you. This is very good. I'm glad I came here first, because... It sounds like uh, they're not interested in continuing the relationship with the Hunters. Which is perfect. You're here. I was afraid my message failed to reach you. You've probably overheard what terrible catastrophe threatens the Empire. The lower floors of the vault are no longer under our control. They were taken over. The insolence of the mutant hunters must not go unpunished. Can I count on your help once again? Hell yeah! You certainly can, but what exactly do you want me to do about the hunters? If those raiders refuse to leave the vault willingly, I shall make them leave by force. I've charged Colonel Parson with leading the mission. You'll find him on the first floor of the vault. You're the first outsider ever to be allowed inside. I hope you'll not misuse that privilege. I must warn you, however, because of the hunter activity in the vault, the situation there is critical. What do you mean by that? Parson will tell you all the details. 
However, you must know what you stand up against. It gives you a hollow disk, looking worried. It's a report from a scout team that was sent to the vault. It's thanks to that report that we know about the mutant hunter's presence there. You should read it. Recon mission. Uh, I'm not too interested in reading this. Let's see if I can just skim it for anything interesting. Oh, wait, what? The team enters the second floor. The walls in the floor are covered with a slimy matter of unknown origin. What? Sounds like we've got more than monster hunters to deal with. Sounds like there's maybe some of those... Uh, what were they called? The mutated monsters that I encountered once near Asmodeus's cave? And at Asmodeus's cave? Unidentified creature spot in the resting area. Dark purple skin under a thin layer of slime. A creature capture record short before losing contact with the lower floors. That sounds like, uh, what was it, the Windigo? That I remember fighting in Fallout 1 or 2. Which we haven't encountered yet in Fallout 1.5. Hmm. Okay. So it sounds like I've got more than monster hunters to deal with. Got a bit of an alien infestation somehow. Well, I guess it'll just be me and Woofer. There's probably some way to make my companions drop their weapons, but... Eh. I mean, there definitely is a way to make them drop their weapons. If I talk to them about their equipment, I think I can make them do it. I guess I'll do that. If I'm going on a long mission, I should bring them with me. Alright, let's go. Talk about your equipment, holster your weapon, thank you. I guess that is faster just to have them holster their weapons than stop them from coming with me. It's pretty quick. Thanks, Woofer. I think there's shortcuts that may have been added by some mod. I don't know if it's this mod 1.5 or some of the other mods that it incorporates, but I think there's some shortcuts for managing your companions. I just don't know what the shortcuts actually are. There may be one to have them holster their weapons. That's not an enemy, right? No, this is all... No, this floor is fine. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end this episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to take care of the hunters and, apparently, the aliens that have taken up residence in Vault 16.